In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an important principle in your defensive scheme, teaching you kind of how to build the most powerful defense that you can possibly build in this game. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player you can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to know for whenever we release new videos. We release new videos every single day that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball and so like I said I would just encourage you um, to hit that subscribe button okay guys in this video we're talking a little bit about blitzing and we're going to specifically focus in on um, a key little adjustment out of the Mike Blitz 3 it's really really effective against plays like um, gun bunch it's really really good against stuff like that it's good against a lot of different things but what we're going to zero in on in this video is a chess match. And this is why one of my key principles for building a defensive scheme is you want your max coverage defense and you want your, um, you, you want your max coverage defense and you want your pressure defense to look exactly the same. And so uh, as a result, that's kind of leading to the video. And again, we want for our zone drops, we want 30 yard flats, 10 yard curl flats, and five yard hook curls. My personal opinion, these are the best zone drops to at least start with. Um, and so what we're gonna be focusing in on here is like I said, we're gonna focus on some pressure for you. Now, if you want to get my entire defensive guide, it is available in the description for just 15 bucks. I believe the 335 wide is the best defense. We talked about why in the previous video we did. We talked about how important it is that you have a defense that can stop the run. You have a defense that can get you the best personnel possible. You have a defense that can get you consistent pressure at the quarterback. You have a defense that can get you um, the ability to play all of this, all of the coverages, including match coverages, which is does have that feature. And then lastly, we talked about having a defense that is very, very effective at being able to, you know, stand up in the red zone. So some type of short yardage style defense. So that's why the 46 playbook, in particular, the 335 wide is the best defense in the game. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with kind of uh, explaining this. So uh, when I come out into this, into this, uh, into the field here, uh, what you're going to notice is I think actually, you know what, we'll just move the ball this way uh, but what you're going to notice first and foremost is whenever we defend bunch if i audible down to mike blitz three cover three is really not a good move against bunch okay it's way too easy to bomb it um, you'll see here if i just go to this play jets dig um, it is very likely that this r1 receiver is going to get open as you can see right there nice little one play touchdown right off the top um, and if you want to learn how i run recommend running gun bunch that guy is in the description as well but um, anyways so what we're going to focus on here is um, first and foremost a coverage defense. So uh, how do you how do you want to build a coverage defense? Well, a couple things you can do. The first thing that we want to understand is, like I said, we have on our on our uh, on our field here we've got our cloud flat set to go to thirty yards. We've got our curl flat set to go to ten yards, and we've got our hook curl set to go to five. And so uh, I actually like to. You can use Mike Blitz three if you want to. Um, that's going to be the primary defense we're going to use whenever we want to send pressure. But for coverage defense, I actually would rather use the cover four show too. And the reason why is because of how effective the coverage is from this in particular uh, defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, cloud flats on both sides. So as you can see here, I've got a 30 yard cloud flat on the left side. that's going to take away C routes and crossing routes and all of that stuff. And then I've got a 30 yard cloud flat on the right side. That's going to take away corner routes and out routes and you know pretty much all of that kind of stuff. And then from that point, what I wanna do is I wanna man up that circle receiver. He's kind of the problem receiver in the gun bunch. And so I've got man coverage to defend the motion corner out. I've got man coverage out there to defend all kinds of things that he might wanna do. And then from there, what I wanna do is I wanna essentially um, decide uh, what I wanna do on this left side. So a couple of options. Uh, the first and foremost thing that we always like to do against bunch, you can spread your D-line, you can shift them one way or the other. I would recommend go ahead and just shift them to the left or to this side. The reason why I recommend that 
is because it's the easiest to stop the run. To either sit right in this little pocket right here or to shift them this way. So either shift them right or shift them left, okay? Um, so if you shift them right, uh, what I would generally do is I will drop a three red hook zone in the middle of the field. As you can see, that's the three red hook zone. Now the one problem that we have is that if the running back goes on an option route, um, it's actually a fairly consistent read. So for example, let me just show you this. So if I, if I put the running back on an option route and I just kind of snap the ball, what you're gonna see is this purple zone will only go to him later on in the play. He won't start there. And so as a user, I've gotta determine kind of how I'm gonna use that. So the best, easiest way to do this is to go ahead and have those same adjustments uh, that we just spoke about. So we're gonna have the same adjustments, but what we're gonna do is we're simply going to um, kind of start at the running back. So we're gonna start kind of going right in here, and then we're gonna basically come off of him. And as you'll see, when we come off of him, our guy will now come over and at least play it. Now again, will they be able to hit it for five to 10? Yeah, they might be able to hit it for five to 10 yards. But again, remember our philosophy is we wanna make everything look the same. We wanna force our opponent to play left-handed. And then what we also wanna be able to do is we wanna play a bend but don't break style of defense. We don't wanna give up the big play. We wanna keep everything in front of us. So that's kind of how the coverage defense will look. Um, okay, so then what we want to talk about in this in, in this section is whenever we shift over and we go into a pressure type of setup, when we shift our line to the right, we're going to crash our line out. What you're going to see is there's going to be some pressure. Now, the one thing that I want to tell you is I want to prepare. I want to prepare for the likely routes that I'm going to face. So knowing full well that it's very unlikely that people will just put a streak on the field on the left side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically play uh, to stop the option route, and I'm going to use her the flat route. So if there's a flat route, I'm going to go guard it myself. If there's not a flat route, then I basically can essentially work back to the right side of the field. So how this is going to look practically is I am going to man up the square uh, corner onto the receiver. As you can see right here, he's manned up onto square. Uh, if you don't want to do it like that, there's other, other ways that you can do it. But essentially, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then what I'm going to do on this left side is I'm going to throw a little hook zone uh, from this left side guy. So if the running back goes on a wheel route, then I got to go out there. But if he, you see that the hook curl will match him, even though it's a zone dropped hook curl, that hook curl will match him. That's the beauty of this path. That's the beauty of this package. And that's why I believe Mike Blitz 3 is so powerful is that this hook curl is really, really glitchy from this. And so what we've done is we've basically, you know, kind of created, uh, for lack of a better term, some man coverage um, or some match coverage within this. So we've created that on the left side. Um, and or, yeah, on the left side. So now on the right side, we've got to deal with some adjustments. What are some things that are re that we are likely to deal have to deal with on the right side? Well, essentially, the biggest thing that we're going to have to deal with is a flat route from one of those one of those several receivers over there. And so, there's really not a super you know great way to deal with this. Um, but what you can do is you can uh, create something like this. You can essentially create that five yard uh, vertical hook. We can create that uh, cloud flat. And then what we can do is we can create essentially a deep half here on the right side. And so what this is gonna look like is we've now shifted our entire defense into basically this right here. And now what you're gonna see is that whenever they try to throw to the flat, you know, quick or something like that, I now have a, a hook zone over there. Now again, that's an oversimplified version. You don't have to do that. The biggest thing that I would encourage you to try is I would encourage you to try this defense here on the left side. Um, this defense on the left side is super, super effective, and I think it's honestly super, super underrated. If you were to do something like this, you'll have a lot of success because what's going to happen is this hook curl will go out there. He'll go out to get him. As you see right there, he matches onto him. All you have to do is just initially run out there, then you can go back and work on the bunch side. To me, that is super, super effective, and honestly, I think it's super, super glitchy. Now again, one other little thing that you want to understand with this is you want to make this look exactly the same. And so we want to make sure that we have a coverage defense that basically looks identical to this. So um, another defense that we could potentially work is we could basically have a hook curl. Um, we could then maybe run some band coverage just like this right here, you know, and then on the back side we could create, you know, something like this. Maybe it's quarters, and then on this on this left side here we're just manned up. This is a great little defense right here for a bunch. Um, this is super super effective. In fact, if they run a little option pattern, uh, what you're going to see is that this hook curl will tend to do a pretty good job, and then of course you want to be over there with your user 
But the 3-3-5 wide defense gives you the options and the opportunity to have a lot of flexibility with your pressures because your pressure looks exactly the same as your coverage defense. And that is super, super important. So if you want to know how to get pressure um, to 3 through 5 wide, we got a ton of ways that you can do that in our guide. But essentially what you want to do is you just want to basically crash your defensive line out once you shift them to one side. And then you, if you can notice here on the left guard, there are some shadows. So essentially I want to kind of hover right in here and basically run right off the edge here as you can see and then the pressure should come in and again you know the the hold of the the hold of the defensive tackle is a little finicky but you know it's it's not that bad like i said you know you're just going to audible over here you're going to shift your line to the right crash them out and then you can kind of stand like right in here and you just want to make sure that you're coming off the edge and again i didn't have great user there but essentially you want to kind of you know you want to basically get the offensive line to, to occupy. So there's a lot of ways that you can do that. The easiest way is to just simply, you know, I, I'm probably not standing close enough, so I want to stand kind of like right in here, um, you know, basically. And then at the snap of the ball, you know, basically just kind of get their attention. And as you can see right there, the pressure comes off. So the beauty of this is this looks exactly the same as the coverage defense, so they're not going to know. And this is how you're going to kind of trick your opponent throughout the game with some of these curveballs. So, like I said, if you wanted the complete defensive guide, the 335 wide defensive guide is available in the description for just 15 bucks. It walks you through what I believe to be the best defense in Madden 21. So head on down in the description if you want to get that. Thanks for your time. I want to invite you to our stream tonight. We stream every single night, uh, Monday through Thursday. Uh, we're going to be streaming from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So that's a great time for you to be able to come by, hang out, ask your questions. And I play subscribers normally. That's kind of how I do my streams. So if you ever want to play Madden with me, um, you can come play during that window of time. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to get that defensive guide, it is available in the description.